What's up, y'all? It's J. Lou. At my old high school, I haven't been here in years. You know, it's bring back great memories. As y'all wish for, y'all finna get my dribble tutorial, and let's get it. What's up, y'all? Before we get started today, this video is sponsored by Kick Asensio, a massage gun I use before I hoop, after I hoop, while I'm chilling at home, and let's go check it out. It has several different heads, different speeds, heating and cooling, and all the functionalities you want in a massage gun. So first we have is the conical head, which is used for the soles of your feet, palm, back, and Achilles tendon. So a lot of people might confuse the conical for the cylindrical head, but they're basically the same thing. This is used for deep tissue. I'll use this specifically for my knees due to the fact that I have horrible knees. So next we have is the flat head, and basically you can use this anywhere on the body. Yeah. That's how you know it's good. So the spherical head is specifically used for large groups such as lower back, arms, legs, and also thighs and calves. So this is a U-shaped head. It's like a U, so that's what makes it easy. And then it's basically just used for your neck and spine. Last one's called the C-shape, see? Real deep tissue massage uh, service announcement. If you're ashy, it's gonna show it 100%, you see? As you see, I did not put lotion on. Click the link below to visit King of Sizio's Amazon store to get this massage gun so you get shitty like me. Let's get to the video. All right, bet. So as the first tutorial I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show my two ball dribbling drills that I usually do. I usually do this on my free time. So how we're gonna start off first is we do dribble pound stationary below the knee. So we're gonna... We wanna try to get as many bounces in as possible. I usually do it for a timer for about probably 30 seconds to a minute. And this usually helps, helps with like kill dribbles or dribbling into the tight spaces. And cause if you can do it with, you can do it with two balls, you can do it with one ball easily. So boom, that's gonna be the first drill. The second thing I usually do is, well, first off, I missed a part, sorry. So usually, so I'm gonna do dribbling. Uh, I'm gonna walk, dribble, knees length all the way. Usually I do full court, but for video purposes, I'm gonna do half court. So we're gonna do it like this. You always want to have your eyes up too. Ooh, this is a burn, I promise y'all. Ah, whew. Ooh, I promise y'all, bro. By the end of this, bro, your arms are going to be dead, but it's going to be great work, I promise you. Second drill, what we're going to do, we're doing pounds now. So it's gonna, you're going to have to pound the ball. Shout out to V. Ellis, because he'd be pounding that hoe. So we're going to do is like this. And same, usually about... 30 seconds to a minute. You always want to get low because if you're lower than defender, it helps you. And then after, after of course doing that, now we're going to do alternate. So, oh Lord, my weak hands, my left hand weak. Oh, my arms already getting tired, but. So after you do it stationary for around 30 seconds to a minute, now we're walking full court, half court, whichever one you do, half court and back. So we're gonna do pound dribbles first to half court. And now on the way back, we're gonna do alternate. Arms are getting tired. All right, next drill is gonna be pound dribbles, knee below knee, but we're gonna go around the world is what I like to call it. So it's gonna be certainly like this. Now left. Ah, all right. You wanna try to keep the dribbles as much as possible. And yes, I mess up too. It's okay. We're all gonna mess up here. But this is how we get better. There we go. Ah. Ah, okay. One good time right here. One good time. Twice. Ah. But yeah. This is gonna help again help with the kill dribbles, the small dribbles in tight spaces. Come on, come on. Oh, 
when I split through the double team, this is gonna help with it especially. So this is how you're gonna get right with all the tight spaces. Y'all wonder how I do it? This is how you do it right here. All right, next drill, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do crossover. So I'm gonna do the easy, the medium, and then the hard. So here we go right here. So usually here's the easy part. We're doing stationary because of course you gotta walk before you run. So here you go, you do pound, cross, pound, cross, pound, cross. You wanna get a little rhythm. And you wanna keep your eyes up as well too. You wanna do this again? Every drill is gonna be about 30 seconds to a minute. If you wanna get that good handle. And then the medium is gonna be walking. So we're gonna walk to half court. So it's gonna be like this, same thing, little pound cross. So walking, it'll be like this. Yep, bro. If you, don't, if you don't mess up, bro, you're not doing it right. I'm like an expert at this, but I mess up too. So. Always head up. Always head up. Don't cheat yourself. Now, now for the heart, we always want to get better. Always want to get better. So if it started to get a little too easy, go to the next step. Cross, just straight crossing. Straight crossing, just like this. You wanna start where you messed up at. Just like that, head up as well too. Boom, just like that. Just like that, it's gonna be tough. I promise you it's gonna be tough. None of the life come easy, I promise you. We're, we're all gonna get there. J. Lou one on one. The next step, what we're gonna do is between the legs series now. So with the between the legs, it's gonna be a between the legs but you're crossing with the other arm. So it's gonna be like this. Ah. Lord, geez, I messed up on the first one. I'm gonna get right though, y'all. Here it is. Uh, 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 uh. This is the easy one. I know it looks hard, but uh, if you do the, if you could go between the legs with two balls, bro, promise you, you can with one. Again, 30 seconds to a minute. And then the medium one, of course, you wanna progress every single time. We're trying to get better every day. So the next one is of course walking. When you walk though, you wanna kinda of go in zigzags. You don't wanna go straight, cause again, you don't ever go between the legs really straight. You, want, you always go in little cuts. Start off going left. So, uh, 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 uh. All about changing direction. Taking a break, getting a walk back, and now I'm gonna show y'all the hard one. Hard one's gonna mess y'all up. I already know. Y'all gonna be like, oh my gosh, but one now is no pound dribble in between. Just straight between the legs. Of course, you wanna start off with a pound dribble, but then you're just getting into the between the legs. Boom, 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 boom. Ah. Again, start up where you messed up at. Start up where you messed up at. I don't wanna start up there. I'm always gonna start right here. Boom, so again, we're gonna try to progress, get better every day so you can do it easy, medium, hard. Cause again, it took me a long time to do this. So I'm, I'm just giving y'all my little tips. I promise y'all. So next, next series we're gonna do now, behind the back. And I know it's gonna be, a, you know, it's a very, it's gonna be a very specific video. I don't wanna skip any steps. I'm trying to give y'all everything that I did. So behind the back now, so we're doing this. Boom, boom. Boom. Again, head up. Same little crossover in front and behind the back. So a key thing, and I know y'all saw me do it a couple times too. So when you go behind the back, so it's a pound in front of you, wrap, pound in front of you again, wrap. So just like that, ah. Boom, boom, boom. A little rhythm going. Try to get a rhythm going. Again, this for 30 seconds to a minute. And then we're gonna go to the medium. As I said before, with medium, you wanna go in zigzags. Cause again, when you go behind the back, go behind the back, it's like that. Just like that. We're always gonna turn going behind our back, changing directions. So we're gonna do the same with two balls. So, just like this, boom, boom, 
boom, boom, boom, boom. Again, a rhythm. I know y'all. I know y'all see the rhythm. I know y'all hear the rhythm. Pound, uh, pound, uh, pound, uh, pound, uh, pound, uh, pound, uh. Everything's everything's about rhythm. I promise y'all. Y'all say I, I play poetically and everything. It's because I play with the rhythm every single time. I have a melody going through my head, like Beethoven. I'm capping. Hard one now. No dribbles in between. No pounds in between. We're just keep. We're just gonna keep going. Just keep going and switch your hands every single time. So, ah, come on, Jordan. The artist success is failure. I promise y'all. If you're not messing up, you're not doing it right. I promise you. Or you could go harder. You feel me? You can go faster. I usually do this. I usually always do this running. But again, for video purposes, I'm just gonna do it at the end. I'm gonna show y'all me running. But video purposes, I'm just doing it to you know instruct y'all so boom ah come on all right here we go right here uh, a lot this one uh, 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 uh. if y'all peep i'm doing a little stutter steps to get my feeding right ah, 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 ah. come on come on come on come on uh, uh, uh. Uh, there we go. Again, the reason why I do stutter steps is because I want to get my footing right. Everything's all about footing. You don't want to overstep. You don't want to tumble over. It's all about keeping your feet under you so you can do the moves. Yeah. Now we're going to go to the fun part, and that's the combo moves. Y'all probably like, how are you doing a combo moves with two, draw two balls? I got y'all. I promise you. So first we're going to do is cross between the legs, and then we're going to do between the legs behind the back. And of course, we're gonna start easy, medium, and hard at all of them. And this is where I'm gonna start running so y'all can see I can really do this, I promise y'all. We're gonna start stationary. So with stationary, we're gonna take a pound in between. So it's gonna be like pound, cross. Ah. So as y'all see, I have one inflated ball and one not so inflated ball. It's always gonna be like that. So you gotta handle it. It doesn't matter, just gotta handle it. So it's gonna be pound, cross, pound between legs. Pound, cross, pound between legs. Pound, cross. Again, 30 seconds to a minute. Ah. Then you wanna, so you wanna get a hang of it, you wanna start going a little faster. This is still the easy, I promise you. So, boom, 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 boom. Ah. You wanna always wanna try to keep your dribbles. In the game, you can't pick the ball up and start over. Again, want to keep your dribbles always. Ah, cross. Ooh, so that's the easy. So now we're in the heart. It's moving now. And again, so what I'm going to do, halfway, I'm going to pick up the speed. And we're going to go in zigzags as well. So how are we going to do this one? So we're going to still go in zigzags, of course. But we're going to do pound, cross, pound, between the legs, switch like that. So I'm going to show y'all specifically. So I'm going to go left. I always go left first. So it's pound, cross, pound, uh. Pound, cross, pound, uh. Pound, cross, uh. uh. Ooh. Ah. Come on, come on. See, so for, for purposes of changing speeds to make it go faster, this is how it's gonna happen. This is gonna how this is how it's gonna look, all right? So ah. see again, if you're not messing up, if you're you have to be comfortable being uncomfortable again. I go uncomfortable speeds because when you see me play and y'all see me doing all those fast dribbling, it's because I'm comfortable being uncomfortable. Ah, it's not always gonna look pretty. As long as the move works, that's all that matters, I promise you. So now we're gonna get to the hard. So how we're gonna do this is we're gonna do cross between the legs continuously, no pounds in between. And as y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see me do, they're called quick feet. Do a little quick feet like this. And it just helps me get my foot in together. So we're gonna start off with a pound of course. Ah, come on. Ah. 
Fuck, bro. I'm not gonna cap. Sometimes it gets frustrating, bro. I'm messing up now. But y'all gonna see me in a little ball of life video doing this move, going crazy, so. Ah. God dang, bro. I'm supposed to be the expert at this hoe. All right, I'm not messing up this time. Oh! Ah, there we go, bro. All right, so for the medium combo across behind the back, we're gonna do pound, cross behind the back, pound, cross behind the back. And when we do it, we wanna wrap it behind the back. Again, we're still trying to change directions. So, pound, uh, uh, pound, uh, uh, pound, uh, uh, pound, uh, uh, pound, 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 uh, ah! You wanna wrap it around hard. Start off left again, pound, cross, uh, 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 ah! We gotta start over, bro. We gotta start all the way over. Again, y'all, I wanna try to keep the handle of it. I know y'all saw me mess up, but hey, you always gonna mess up in the game. You always wanna try to keep the handle of it. Keep it tight. So hard, no jewels in between. Just straight cross behind the back, cross behind the back. Switch your hands every single time. So how's it gonna be? You're gonna start off with a pound, of course. Ah. On the way back, you wanna do it on the way back too. So let's start with a pound. Ah, there we go. The next drill, you know, still behind the back series, between the legs, behind the back. So, how we're we gonna start off? It's like this. Pound between the legs, pound behind the back. Pound. Uh. Ah. But you wanna do it like that. Pound. Uh. There we go, there we go, there we go. So, that's the easy version. Hard version is walking. We're gonna take a pound in between. We're gonna do a pound between legs behind the back. Pound between legs behind the back. Same as before, we're gonna wrap the behind the back. So it's gonna look like this. Whew, this is gonna make you tired, I promise you. Ah, pound, pound, pound. Ah, you gotta stay low. Ah. So that's how it's going to be. See? I was about to cheat myself, and I did that hole better than the second time. So here's the hard one. Just straight between the legs, behind the back, and switch your hands. You gotta get, you gotta get your feet right. Both hands in front of you, pause kinda sorta. God dang, stay low, Jordan. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. All right, y'all, two ball dribbling. Please, you know, put in the comments what y'all wanna see next. I'm doing all tutorials. I know y'all wanna see my hezzy. I know y'all wanna see one ball dribbling. So just let me know what y'all want below. And also comment W's in the fit, for the fit, you know, if y'all fuck with it or not. But if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And J. Lou's out.